What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an animated 3D isometric city like this. Isometric image simply means designing a 3D image in a 2D environment. So you end up looking at three dimensions of each object. First thing first, get an isometric image. The one I'm using is from Envato Elements with the link in the description below. Open up your image in Illustrator, go to Layers panel and turn off anything that you're not interested in or you don't want to use in your project. It could be a text, it could be objects, it could be anything. You can either make them invisible or simply delete them to keep your project file tidy. Now our aim is to create a new layer for each object that we want to animate. In our case, we want to animate the buildings and a few cars. Click on create a new layer a few times to create blank layer. Now select the group so all your image is selected, go to object and click on ungroup. You may need to do this once or twice depending on how complex your layers are in your file. Essentially what we want is for each object to become a separate layer. Now simply drag each object into the layers above. Once you're done dragging all your objects into the layers, simply save the project file. Now open up After Effects and open the illustrated file you just saved. Make sure you import it as a composition and keep the footage dimension as layer size. Double click on the AI file to open up all the layers inside it. You may notice that the dimensions may not be 1920 by 1080, in which case go to Composition Settings and change it to 1920 by 1080. Next, right click and create a null object. Select all the layers and parent it to the null object using Pick Whip. Change the scale to adjust to the composition. Also, in case your objects are pixelated, simply click on this vector icon here for all the layers so we can rasterize these layers. Now when we animate the buildings, ensure that the anchor point is at the bottom of the buildings so that we can animate from the bottom up. I'm going to do this for all the buildings. Change the layer names for these cars just so that we can differentiate them easily. Once done, select all the building layers and press S for scale. When the playhead is at 0 seconds, make the scale to 0. Now move forward in time a few seconds and change the size to 100%. You can also go back on the timeline and increase the size more than 100% to give you that professional look of the size animation. Easy ease the start and the end keyframes. For these cars, you can simply animate using the position property. Finally, we will add a new solid to change the background color. And you are done. So, I hope you found the video useful. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and until the next video, look after yourself and have fun. Bye.